Virginia. I'm going into eighth grade and I love to cook. Since I was little, I always used to love being in the kitchen. And my dad was just on the internet one day and he found their website and we got interested and so we looked it up. Hi, my name is Christopher and I'm going into fifth grade. Well, I'm really interested in cooking and my mom wants to try to find me a culinary camp and this is the camp she found and I'm really happy. You know, we started this culinary school about 10 years ago and my passion and love for, for teaching culinary arts really exploded when I was uh, executive chef at different hotel resorts because I'd have to train the staff and bring them up to speed on, on what to expect. So many chefs make a big deal about everything. I make everything simple, you know. People ask me, what is mayonnaise? It's thickened oil. What is hollandaise sauce? It's thickened butter. And, and someday I'll have a book, what's the big deal? Because what's the big deal? And, and I make everything simple. And so the 12 year olds, 14 year olds are able to relate, you know, to the culinary arts that way. Cake decorating, because I think that's gonna be really fun. And my mom's always wanted to learn how to do things like that. So if I can show her, I think that'd be fun. Baking really is, is, is a science. You really need to follow the recipe, unlike culinary arts. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and do our basic soft roll dough today, okay? And what's next on our list? Shortening. Shortening, which is eight ounces, which is a half a pound. This weighs a pound. Yep. So go ahead and cut this guy in half. Remember what the salt does to food? It activates your taste buds. That's why we put the salt in there. Okay, very good. You know, I really started in this business uh, like 30 years ago. And, and I was always excited about culinary arts. I, I went to the Culinary Institute of America in Hyde Park, New York. I studied under some of the, the finest master chefs in the world. I uh, then went on to Florida and worked in different hotel resorts and, and struggled and, and worked as a chef and thing, uh, got positions as executive chef. But I always enjoyed teaching. That, that, that was my passion. I always, we brought on new staff and employee members and I always enjoyed the, 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 the teaching part of it. So that's really why I got into the uh, culinary arts program here that we do here at the Academy. it up and voila you have a nice tomato rose. Kids come here from all over the country. We have kids from California, Florida, Chicago, Alabama, I mean the whole globe. We have a, even have kids internationally and you know they have they bring their cell phones with them and because we're so, our, our proximity to the Canadian border is so close that they don't pick up their signal. So we have a phone service here. Kids can call home anytime they want, 24 hours a day. Some kids are a little bit homesick and you know, we, we're, we're, we're aware of that. You know, we get the kids, they arrive on Sunday and, and, and they're a little, you know, worried about, you know, what am I doing here, the whole culinary experience. And it's amazing to, to myself, to the staff, to the parents when they come back on the graduation on Saturday, they say, wow, what a transition, what did you do? And, and, and the, the, the kids come here with, with, with a little culinary knowledge experience and they go away with, with just a bountiful amount and, and they're chopping and dicing and confidence to go into the kitchen. It, it's really quite a transition. I kind of more just wanted to like know how to cook because I didn't really know anything about cooking before I came. Every time we cook something we get Later on, once it's ready, we get to try it. I like the baked Alaska cake. I like the animals, they're fun, and they make a lot of noise. We also have a farm here uh, on our property, and so the kids are really exposed to, to farm life. We, we have different, uh, several different animals, uh, chickens, uh, turkeys, uh, pigs, ducks, uh, calves. The children are really um, able to to have some fun with the animals and learn about the, the, the animals. We do a lot of uh, excursions here in Vermont. We're here in Vermont, there's a lot of things to do. 
We visit the Ben and Jerry's ice cream plant. We also go to the highest peak elevation at Mount Mansfield here in Vermont. We ride the gondola to the top. We visit a couple of different dairy farms here in Vermont. We also learn maple sugaring. We experience our restaurant down in Burlington. They get to experience the Brazilian uh, type of cuisine. This is called a baked Alaska, baked Alaska. And really what that means, it's just some sort of cake with ice cream in the middle, cake, and then we put a meringue on the outside and we'll brown it up with our uh, torch. The baked Alaska always makes them smile. It's the only reason they came here, really. And then what we're gonna do is go ahead and just put this on top like this, make like a big sandwich. Just gonna trim the edges off just a little. I really appreciate you taking out this time to look at our culinary program. I'm really excited about the opportunity for your child to come to our camp. And please feel free to give us a call with any questions or concerns that you may have. I'll personally give you a call back and answer any questions you may have.